Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do a little bit of a deep dive into my closet and pull out four items that I want to start wearing more or that I would like to restyle. Um, I know I talk about this a lot, but I think that there is so much value to be had in shopping our closets. It's the way most of us get dressed um, just by wearing what we already have. Uh, and sometimes there can be key pieces that we've got which start to feel a little bit tired or that we're bored of or that we maybe just don't know quite how to wear them as they are a little bit or a little bit outside of or on the fringe of our personal style. So yeah, I've got four pieces from my own wardrobe, just ones that I've found I'm not reaching for that often. I think part of it might have to do with the direction that I've noticed my personal style has been going in, uh, but I want to wear them more basically. So I thought this would be a fun video. So the first item that I kind of want to restyle up is this beautiful uh it's kind of like a fawny brown mousy brown um wool blazer from and other stories i did a spring and autumn mixed haul i did two of them last year and i bought this then and i was absolutely blown away by the quality of this it really is just top notch it, it felt way beyond the price point and this is an expensive item um, when it comes to and other stories but just all the details the tailoring the fit it's very cool um, i did get it in a 34 and you will notice it is quite oversized on me still so there would be potential to size down possibly two sizes if you didn't like how boxy it is and i think that is part of the challenge that i find when i'm wearing this and kind of overcoming that i believe is all down to how you wear it and the items that you mix and match the second item is something I've had in my closet for many, many years, and I just haven't bothered to uh, reach for it since having a child. Um, I'm petrified of this getting stains on it, um, just because I feel like it would be a bit of a nightmare to get out of the dry cleaner because of all of these fine pleats. It's got this knife plate detail. Please mind our very creaky floorboards, but hopefully you got a sense of that. And then these beautiful bell sleeves. So I want to put this on, put it on as part of an outfit. And I think that might inspire me to wear it, at least on Mondays when he's at daycare. Then we have a pair of jeans, which I've had for, I'm going to say four or five years. I've had these for quite a while. If you've been following me for that long, then you may recall these. I just haven't worn them in ages. Um, and I wore them on the weekend, but I, I didn't really put together an outfit. I just put these on with some with a cashmere knit. It is these redone skinny jeans. I think these are just called the skinny crop jean. I'm fairly certain they're still available. So oh, it says here 2017, so I got them four years ago. Um... These ones will still be available, so I can link them below. They're quite a rigid, rigid denim, and they cut me off at just the right point, the, the ankle. This next one is a skirt, and um, I actually have noticed I haven't been wearing my skirts quite so much, part of which I think is down to the shift in season, and that is actually quite cold at the moment. But I really want to add fresh life into the skirt because I haven't really worn it since I was pregnant. And there's this Realization Par slip skirt. I have talked about this before and you know the fit on this isn't perfect for me. I am clearly not the same body shape as their fit model so it's just not going to be right. Bubbles on the sides and it's quite a thin silk fabric. Gets lots of little pulls on it so if you've had your eye on this I think that unless you have lots of budget to spare in your wardrobe budget maybe look for a more affordable option because I know I would be so incredibly disheartened and upset um, if I'd spent that much money only to find that I got little pulls and things on, on my skirt. Uh, however, it, it's such an easy piece I and mean, it's leopard. Who doesn't love a bit of leopard? It's kind of got an ocelot style print to it. So I'm going to start with the blazer, we'll work our way down and we'll put together some outfits. And actually, just completely off topic, but these pants that I've got on right now, um, they're a recent sale purchase from Cos. They are really, really good. Um, if they're still available, I'm going to link them below because they're a really nice wide leg trouser, comes to the floor. If you've been looking for something like that, um, these would be really nice for the summer too with a little crop top. Anyway, let's, uh, let's put on this blazer and put together an outfit. Okay, so first outfit on with the And Other Stories oversized blazer. And I have to say, I really, really like this outfit. I think for me, this combination is probably something I would wear for more of a nicer meal out or on a day when I don't have my son because, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of cream on. Either that or I'd have to be very careful about how I wore it around him. So for a start, I've gone for a really neutral color palette. 
I talk about this a lot, but um, I think that this is a very simple way to put together an outfit, and especially with a color like this, this mousy brown, which completely throws me off because it isn't something that I'm used to wearing. There's more traditional camel and beige tones I find very simple to wear, uh, and they're things that I think work really well with just any color blue denim. But this one, it's it's got a bit of a cooler undertone, and it just takes a little bit more work. So I thought an all neutral outfit would be the best way to go and when I was looking at some of the other ways I've worn this previously I found that that was actually something I did then also. So the top that I'm wearing is this Mott & Bow cashmere knit sweater. I have it in a medium so it's very nice and oversized, really light and it adds some extra texture um, and that's sort of something that I tend to focus on a lot when it comes to wearing neutrals or monochromatic outfit, tonal outfits is texture. I think that is quite important to keep things interesting and to stop it from looking one dimensional. The skirt that I'm wearing is a slip skirt and what I quite like about pairing this slip skirt with this outfit is that you have something that is very slouchy um, and also this very oversized silhouette with something that is very kind of refined and elegant uh, and feels a lot more dressy because it is it's not silk but it has this sort of silky um, property to it which really catches the light quite nicely. Um, then on my feet, because I feel like these are such a no-brainer to wear with a skirt like this, and I wanted it to be a really practical outfit for day to day, I went with my Vanelli two-tone pumps. So the key here was to keep it in the same undertone family as the rest of what I'm wearing, so more on the cool tone. I would say these shoes are neutral to cool tone, so they tend to work with most outfits that I'm wearing, uh, but they're a really good classic every day, um, and again, sort of speak to that sort of light beigey look I have underneath. Now there are a couple of other points I wanted to mention about this outfit which I think make it really flattering. For one, I've kind of got a column of colour uh, underneath with a darker colour on the top and that is always going to be flattering and is always going to look good, in my opinion anyway. It um, is actually quite slimming if that's something that you're after. Also, I like where this blazer cuts me off. The skirt's kind of cut on the bias so it kind of skims over the contours of my body and then it flares out towards the hemline. And that combination works really, really well because you have this larger element on top and then you have this slimmer element through the leg. So that is outfit number one. Now let's get on to outfit number two. For my second outfit, I'm wearing that absolutely exquisite blouse from Elizabeth and James with the knife plate detail and the balloon sleeves. Now, when I traditionally would wear this top, I would always wear it tucked in. And I thought that I would change things up this time and style it in a way that was worn loose because I think it has a really kind of nice, beautiful hemline. Uh, it actually looks great worn both ways. But as you probably know about me, I have styling tools that I tend to lean into when I'm putting together an outfit and accentuating my waist and uh, sort of defining my waist is definitely one of them. And I don't necessarily think you need to do that all the time. So what I've done here is I've gone for texture and then I've also balanced out the colour. So I'm wearing a lighter colour on my upper half and then on my lower half both my um, my pants and my shoes are black and that's intentional so that I can create really nice clean lines. Okay so the trousers that I'm wearing, they're leather trousers, they're from Girlfriend and I've had them for almost two years now. They have a really nice crop fit through the leg, but are otherwise more of a slim straight style. I actually think that this outfit would work really well with a skinny legging as well, maybe even in a burgundy color or a really nice rich gem tone, um, something forest or navy. And then on my feet, I'm wearing my little Jadior sling back flats. Um, I haven't really worn these in a while, but I think that the fact that they've got that bow on the side, which ties into the color of the top, is quite nice and it's not necessarily bookending that color palette that I'm wearing. The pointed toe is always a good one when you're wearing a flat because it helps to elongate the legs. Uh, and I really like this outfit, um, quite an easy one and I actually think that this is a way that I would feel quite comfortable wearing these even around our sun. Uh, I probably just put an apron on when I'm pulling them in and out of his uh, high chair to avoid getting grubby hands all over me. <laughs> okay so the third outfit is all centered around those redone jeans and you know what? I've just gone for a classic combination which I have been wearing a lot recently which is basic tee, oversized wool blazer, slim fitting jeans and then a really nice shoe and the shoes in particular are ones that I've been wearing 
almost daily. I'm, I'm a little bit enamored with them right now. Uh, so the t-shirt that I've worn is from our care and I have to apologize for it being creased. I literally just pulled from my closet. Um, this is one of their lighter weight cotton t-shirts and I really recommend them. They are probably the best quality for the price. Um, I did a whole video on the best basic t-shirts and I am going to link that up in the cards if you haven't watched it. But this was the one that for me came out on top if you're looking for a relaxed fitting tee. Um, that is going to wear really well. I like the fact that it's off-white and not a crisp white so it creates less of a stark contrast with the blazer that I'm wearing today which just so happens to be a black one. This blazer is from Everlane and I've talked about it quite a bit recently because I've been toying with that whole um, desired fit versus uh, intentional fit in terms of what a designer is offering you and I have this blazer in the herringbone in the size 2 black one I got in the four because I thought I would actually just see how the four fit on me and I prefer it. I've got a little bit, it's a little bit more boxy, uh, not overly so and it doesn't feel too oversized anywhere. I really like how tailored it is yet also how easy it is to wear and as a mum who is who spends a lot of her time at home working though at the same time, I want to feel smart. Um, I think how you put your outfits together and what you are wearing, it can actually be a huge motivator and something that can really uh, help you to have drive uh, if that's something that you're struggling with. Then of course the redone jeans which I've had for four years and they've held up really well despite, I mean I haven't worn them in the last couple of years that much but these jeans I wore probably a good four times a week when I first purchased them and uh, I still really do love them and I think they're a really nice rich blue which almost has a bit of an aqua undertone to it. The shoes that I decided to pair with this, I wanted to match them with my blazer. So that is actually a, a thing that I find really uh, works quite well if you have a third piece. Um, and I've gone for that three color rule, so white, blue, black, um, and I'm not bookending my outfit. So while I've got three blocks, I, I don't feel like I'm cutting my body up in the same way as I would if I had uh, white, blue, white, if that makes sense. Um, they're from about Ariane. I've worn them a lot recently. Super buttery soft leather. And I'm now kicking myself for not buying them in the saddle brown because I think they're pretty much sold out everywhere. So that is outfit three. Let's go on to the final look. And then for my final outfit, I'm styling up that Realization Part leopard skirt. Um, this is one of those things that despite it being printed, I still see it as being more of a neutral. Um, the colour of it is a champagne and I find it leans slightly, ever so slightly cool but because of the colour I feel like it works a little bit more as a neutral so I've gone for more warmer accents. Um, you could also play up the coolness of it if you really wanted to. Uh, I do talk a bit about how I think that it's best to stick to one undertone whether it is warm or cool so uh, this is one of those instances where I'm taking a little liberty with the um, actual undertone of it. Um, T-shirt that I'm wearing is that same cream tee from the previous outfit, the Arquette tee. Just felt like it would go really well with the skirt and the fact that I intended to throw this big big chunky coat again over the top. I really like when an outerwear piece is longer than what you're wearing underneath. I think it creates some really visually interesting elements in your outfit. Uh, I think it's actually quite flattering as well. Uh, it makes, because it's so big, it ends up making anything underneath look kind of slimmer by contrast. And yeah, I've got a really chunky boot on. But yeah, I think this to me is sort of a really nice, comfy, cozy outfit, something I can wear around the house. It's kind of reminded me one of the reasons why I don't think I've worn the skirt quite so much is because it doesn't fit me as well as it did when I was pregnant and I think that's just because I'd probably be an extra small in this but I bought it in the small because I purchased it around the time that um, I was in my early pregnancy stages and a little bit more bloated sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I really like this outfit. Um, I like the way that the boots make it feel really casual and very easy, approachable to kind of wear. So yeah, that is the fourth look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, just a reminder, as I said earlier, that we really have so much in our wardrobe to play with and it all just comes to mixing and matching things in a new way. Clearly, and I forgot to mention this before, but this outfit I was playing on that tonal look, uh, which is one of those really easy style rules that I tend to use quite a lot. 
yeah, I'd love to know if you had a favourite outfit, um, if you have any of these pieces and how you might maybe like to style them up, and also if you would like to see me do this video again. I have done these before and I always find them really insightful, really encouraging, and I feel like a lot of you enjoy them too, so would love to know your feedback on that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up here. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me, and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.